Hello everyone, Amod here from the Target Common YouTube channel and Selenium Java has released a new version 4.27.0 and suddenly it became a talk of town. The reason was deprecation of get attribute method. Even we have some more good changes like now we can select option which contains a specific text in a select drop down and also it has improved read and they have made more progress towards protocol by die that is bidirectional but anyway people are more concerned about deprecation of get attribute method and eventually in future release this method will be removed as well but this is not the matter of concern at all because it was coming i had already made a video on this topic seven months ago which you can see on my screen so i want to cover why this get attribute method is deprecated in detail that's why i am creating another video so what is an attribute in html so an attribute is used to provide additional information about a html element and these attributes can be defined within the opening tag of an element these attributes may or may not have values for example here i have input tag and within the opening tag i have some key value pairs like type id name placeholder and all these attributes have a meaning type equal to text means this is a text box id and name are unique locators for this specific element and placeholder shows the text within the text box so basically here i have four attributes with values in the second example it is again an input tag but type is checkbox that means this input tag is a checkbox and also it has id and name and we have another attribute checked which has no value that's why i told an attribute may or may not have value so here i have html web page with one text box checkbox and radio button if you inspect this checkbox then you will find the similar attributes whatever i shown you in the slide so selenium web driver has provided a method called get attribute if we want to get the value of any attribute of a web element. Let's use that method now. So in my existing Selenium Java project, I have already upgraded the version to 4.27.0. And this is my sample HTML, which is available in my project directory. And here I have one Java class where I'm launching a Chrome browser and loading my HTML file. So I'm going to write a very simple example of get attribute. I am going to call get attribute method on this text box and I want to fetch the value of placeholder. So I am going to use sysout then chrome driver dot find element by dot id which is text box and call the method get attribute. Now you can see it is appearing as striked out that means this method is deprecated. Anyway let's use it provide the name as of now attribute name and Let's run it. So if you go to console, you can see it is printing the value of placeholder, which is type something here. So this is very simple, right? We want to get the value of attribute and we are able to fetch it. Then why Selenium people is removing this method? What is the problem? Before I explain the problem, let me pass some attribute which is not present. I will copy this line, paste below and I am just changing the placeholder to placeholder 1 which is not available basically and also I am going to call quit method because I don't want to close browser manually. Let me run it. So here for the placeholder it is giving type something here and for the placeholder 1 it is giving null which is very much expected because this placeholder 1 is not the attribute. Our concepts are clear. And we know all these things from a long time. Now I am going to type something here like Amod. And I want to retrieve the value of this text box. Basically whatever I have typed that I want to retrieve. So what we do? So first let me call send keys method and pass the value. Now I will duplicate this line. And instead of placeholder we will pass something called value. We are doing this from long time. Let me see what it is printing run it so here you can see it is printing amod just now 
we learn that if any attribute is not present then it is going to give you null this value is also not available then how it is fetching the value you might be thinking okay maybe at run time this attribute will be updated okay so for that i am not going to quit the browser and let me run it again so value is typed i am going to inspect this text box and here you see we don't have any value attribute but still it gave me the value it's strange right and believe me we are using this from long time let's try one more example here i have this checkbox once we check it i want to verify that this checkbox is checked how to do that so this checkbox has id checkbox let me copy this and i am going to comment on these lines so first let me click on the checkbox so chrome driver dot find element by dot id then perform click then i am going to use sys out chrome driver dot find element by dot id pass the id value then use get attribute and pass the name as checked let me run this and let's see what it is printing go to console and here you can see it is printing true but we don't have this checked attribute in the html then how it is giving the value we have used these a lot of time but we never thought of it now it's time to deep dive so let's start with official documentation of selenium current version selected and let me go to get attribute method so we can see the tag deprecated and get the value of the given attribute of the element more exactly this method will return the value of the property with the given name if it exists if it does not then the value of the attribute with the given name is returned if neither exists null is returned so here we see the term property and then attribute we know about attribute but what is property are property and attributes not same so they are not same so what is properties in html element so when we create html element and when we load that web page in a browser then dom will be loaded with those html elements and in that dom every html element will be an object and that object will have a set of properties which will represent the element state let me reload this web page so here i have this checkbox and for this checkbox we have these attributes so one thing we are clear that get attribute method will look for the property first if that property does not exist then only it is going to look for attribute if both are not available then null so first question will arise how to see properties of any html element for that go to console type console dot dir and use document dot get element by id and let me pass the id value which is text box console dot dir command is a javascript command which can be used to display interactive list of properties of any html element so hit enter now you can see we have something input slash text box and if you expand it we see a lot of keys here and these are properties you can see a lot of properties we have so these properties are automatically assigned to the html element based on their role so whenever we are using get attribute so first time it is going to check properties so when we type something here so that input will be updated as a value to a property called value that value is not available in attribute but html element will have that property simply do control f and type value and look for only value attribute which is here so as of now you can see it is empty type something and run the javascript command again expand it and look for value again which is here and you can see value is updated to amud so when we used get attribute of value so first it checked the property value and it found and returned amud similarly if you see this check box and let me get the property of this check box so instead of text box let me use the check box which is the id of my check me text box upper case b hit enter if you expand it here we have one property called checked control f type checked so you can see it is false because it is not checked if you check it 
and run the same JavaScript command, expand it, go to checked property, you can see value is true. So now you can see the difference between property and attribute and how get attribute method is basically working. So now you might be thinking, what is the problem then? It is returning with a value and my purpose is solved, but there is some problem. So here get attribute method is working based on a pattern like check for the property. If it is not present, then only go for attribute. What if you want the value of attribute, not the property or you want the value of property only not the attribute. If property is not present, give me null. For example, I'm going to modify this web page little bit Do the source code of HTML file. And here I'm going to add one attribute value and I will pass initial value. Let me reload the page. So you can see by default it has some value and here also we have the attribute. If you change the value here from initial value to anything, you can see this value attribute is not updated. But if you go to property of this HTML text box, expand it, here you can see it is updated. So if you call get attribute method, so first time it is going to return this value only. But you don't want this value. You want this value attribute value. So that is the reason just to avoid any confusion between attribute and property. And also you don't get any unexpected value. They have created two new methods from Selenium 4. Get DOM property and get DOM attribute, which you can see here. And they are written clearly that get DOM attribute will only fetch the value of attribute and get DOM property will fetch the value of property. It is not going to check for attribute or property if one is not available. So get attribute method is purposely deprecated so that you can use it better with the help of new methods. Let me quickly show the demo with the new methods. So sys out ground ever dot find element by dot id id is text box and here I am going to call get dom attribute and pass the attribute name which is value. Duplicate this line and instead of dom attribute put get dom property. Save it, run it. If you go to console, it is giving the same value for both. Now I am going to perform typing. I will copy this line, paste here and duplicate these lines again and let me quit as well. Now run it. So these are previously and now you can see get DOM attribute value is the actual attribute value. But for the get DOM property, we have this value. Why? Because I haven't cleared the value and send the keys. So it will append to the existing value. But now you clearly see the difference. So that's all in this video. I hope you are clear with the difference. And now you will not be sad with the deprecation of get attribute method. Thank you everyone.